Hello, my lovelies. Hello, Jade. Hello, Lily. How are you all? Happy Tuesday. Can you hear me? Is my sound coming through good? Mess with my settings again. Starting on a new pattern today. It's lovebirds. Does this help? How about this? How about this? Background music is good, but I'm a little soft. Properties. Let's see. Ooh. How about this? Is this better? Okay. Yep. It was picking up on my laptop microphone, not my headset microphone. So that would be the problem. I tried to get Twitch uh, soundtrack working and it just messed up all my settings. And I so I gave up on it. <laughs> it's no good. I can't get it to work. Yeah, it would be really nice if it worked, because, you know, I don't want to violate copyright laws. That would kind of put a crimp in my style. But, I don't know, is that still in beta? I feel like, I feel like it was in beta for a while. I wasn't sure they ever, like, seriously released it. I might be wrong. Either way, I cannot figure it out. Just like everything else in life, if they want me to figure it out, they better darn well make it easy. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yep, so I thought we'd just have a chill stream tonight. I was gonna play a game, and then I was like, meh. And I was like, super meh. So, I'm just gonna do some more cross-stitching. I had fun doing this last time. Kinda leaves room for conversation. Which I appreciate. So I'm going to do some cute little lovebirds. You should be able to see the pattern here whoop, in the corner. I got to get a little better layout. Um, the one I'm using right now, this is for, it's a pre-made template for chats. Like just for like sitting and talking to people. So the camera that I have on my cross stitch is supposed to be pointed at my face, but that's not how we roll. No, sir. I gotta go find a good crafting template. Or make one of my own, I guess. You know, if I wanted to be not a lazy bum. Who wants that? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> I 
The other thing I was thinking about doing tonight um, was playing The Sims. I had a lot of fun doing that last time too. And you know what? Work was hard. I'm just, I don't want to do anything that's hard. I don't want to do anything else hard today. I'm done doing the hard things. I was a grown up long enough. Thank you. I think so too. I really like birds, like aesthetically. <laughs> I think they make great. I can hear my like. Th <laughs> I need a pop shield on this mic now. Am I too loud at this point? I don't know. Hey, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, good. Joint crafting. I'm into it. I am into it. You know what I was thinking, Lily, is we need to get Liz over here to watch my stream. Last night was so fun. I feel like she's missing out when she's not here. She probably like has a life outside Twitch or something weird like that, huh? One, two, three, four. <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> Who is a life outside Twitch? It seems suspect. Yeah, let her know. I mean, if she's busy, it's not that big a deal, but... I just thought it would be fun. Plus, you know, I'm trying to talk her into streaming, too. And if she sees how bad my streams are, she's going to be like, hey, I could do that. <laughs> She'd be like, what? You don't have to be interesting or know how to work a computer? Psh, I could do that. They're not. They're not. They're not bad. I've seen worse. I mean, really nothing is worse than the poop alarm clock Christmas light stream. That, that set the bar pretty much on the floor. So I'm not too worried about it. Plus, you know, as long as I'm having fun, really. Oh, just stuck myself in the finger. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> yes, blood sacrifice for the craft god. You pick up a needle. These are the, this is the price you pay. That's how we get better. But yeah, the lovebirds. The lovebird pattern. I'm looking forward to it. Um, this is one of DMC's free patterns. Uh, and I just used some Ada cloth that I had left over and some some bobbins. I picked out some colors I already had instead of going with the official color that it called for. So, you know, just, just, just trying, trying to have it chill. Like sometimes I want to go out and buy all the, all the threads and sometimes I want to be good and use the threads I already have. <laughs> Not too often, but sometimes. I have so many patterns. And I know where to get so many for free, too. Like, the DMC website gives away patterns for free. Um, and there's a couple of other websites that are just like, yay, free patterns. I think so. You mean, like, what's the website? I actually can put it in the chat. Ooh, no, wrong button. If I don't push the, push the wrong button. Let's see. DMC.com. Um, and they have a whole section just of free patterns that you can download. And they're like, hey, do you also want to buy all of the threads for this pattern? And usually I'm like, no. But sometimes I'm like, yes. 
There's a DMC free pattern site. Um, some of these threads are DMC and some are not. I don't like the ones that are clearly marked with a number. That's the DMC number. Um, but I have some that are like rogue. Like I got them at Walmart. <laughs> they don't have any. They don't have any number on them. Yeah. It's a good place to just pick up something. Because a lot you can get some really simple patterns on there. So like for starters, you know. It's good. They have some more complex stuff. I nearly spent $45 on a kit last night. <laughs> well, hear me out, okay? It was uh, Henry VIII's wives and their children in like a classic um, sampler style. And I, I just wanted it. I didn't buy it yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Maybe for my birthday. Yeah, I changed my setup a little so that I can actually um, put stuff in the chat tonight while I'm streaming. I know, it's Henry VIII's wives. And the same company has the sampler that's um, like Shakespeare's plays. So it's Twelfth Night and Romeo and Juliet. And it looks like one of those old like European Victorian lady samplers. I could search for it, but that feels like it would be not interesting <laughs> to watch. Oh man, let's see if I can pull it up. It was on Lovecraft. Oh, that went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So, I found it. Here it is. Boop. So if you click on that, you can see that like that, and that's a kit too. So it comes with the thread and the hoop and the needles and the everything. And it's Henry VIII and all six of his wives, whether they were divorced, beheaded, or died, and the heirs to the throne that they produced. And I'm just like, ooh, it's just a... Mm. It's that beautiful little area where, like, all of my interests sort of come together. It's like history and cross-stitch and nerdiness. <laughs> yes, please. Sign me up. You know, because I wanted to do something a little bit more complicated next. Thank you. I thought it was cute. Yeah, they have one that's um, Shakespeare's plays, too, which looked really cool. But, yeah. I guess it's only, it's $37.99 and then you, you know, you pay for shipping and you find something else that you have to have that's on sale. You know how the internet works, Lily. I don't have to explain it to you, do I? <laughs> Probably not, right? Nah. Forty-six in Canadian ouchers. Yeah, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. I'll do it someday. Like I said, maybe for my birthday. As a treat. Until then, we do free patterns. Free. Free, fitty, free. Okay, let's not do this incorrectly. Pay attention. Miss Gloom, pay attention to what you are doing. Okay, two down, all the way down, and all the way over. Okay. Yeah, the kits can get pretty brutal. I bought a kit that I have yet to do that is a uh, Christmas stocking. Because you know how I'm always like craving the useful cross stitching. I figured if I could do a Christmas stocking, like that would be a heckin' family heirloom right there. Uh, yeah about that. I opened it up and it's like oh so many pages of patterns and like so many different colored threads. It's I don't know. I'd have to start it right now to have it done by Christmas and 
that would only be one stocking and I have three kids it's a commitment man it is a commitment this is why grandmas do cross stitching because <laughs> they don't have to be at work Bay. uh yeah don't be too impressed I drew the grids on I don't know if they sell actual gridded Ada but I'm trying to fit this um lovebird pattern into a five inch hoop and it doesn't really fit so I'm just gonna squash it I'm not gonna squash it I'm gonna I'm going to stitch it all the way out to the edges and just leave the edges off you know I mean like psh, who needs leaves and stuff not me so I was just oh <laughs> thanks thank you Yeah, I was just telling um, Lily that uh, this pattern is free from the DMC website, and these are all threads that I already had, and so I'm just trying to use up the stuff I already have, like a crazy person, and not going and buying a new stuff. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea, but here we are. Yeah, the crosses, the crosses I drew on there. Um, if you look at the cross stitch patterns, ooh, let's see if I can get it off my hook here. You see how it's all, each square represents a square on the, on the eight o'clock. You can see where it's got kind of a wide weave with holes in it, which makes it easier to get even cross, even crosses. So, I really wanted to get these birds centered, since I won't have a lot of room to wiggle around in around the edges, so I didn't want them coming out crooked. <gasps> Bay, I love that idea. Lily, if you make cross-stitch patterns of your artwork, I will cross the ever-living stitch out of them. <laughs> it's a thing, don't question me. Also, hi, Faye! How are you? Welcome to the stream! Muffin! Burb! <laughs> yes. Yes. Justified burbs. Yeah, Lee, the program that your sister uses to make cross-stitch patterns, you could totally use to um, turn your artwork into a cross-stitch pattern. Pretty sure it would work in a really similar way. Yeah, Bay, I have done that. I have done that in the past. Um, the only reason I, one of the reasons I didn't do it this time is because I'm trying to fit a larger pattern onto a smaller hoop. Ooh, carb naps, fun. What kind of pasta? Macaroni, spaghetti, penne. <laughs> Describe it to us in detail, slowly. Yeah, too much pasta really is the best ever. Carbs make me so happy. Like, it's probably a problem. These are two different colors, right guys? <laughs> they are, they're two different colors. Yes, thank you, Muffin. 
Sausage and tomato penne pasta bake. Topped with mozzarella. And of course, garlic bread. Of course, garlic bread. Of course. What even is pasta without garlic bread? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Muffin, what time is it? You're in California, so it's like three hours ahead of time, huh? Five o'clock? One's orangier. Yeah. This is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. Seven o'clock. Oh, I guess it is almost nine o'clock here. Listen, time is hard, okay? I mean, what's not to love? There's garlic, there's bread. Sometimes you get a little cheese. It, it's really the bee's knees. The, the kneesiests of beesiests. Are you streaming later, Muffin? Let's see, it's a four square there, and then we'll get into the teas. <gasps> breadsticks? Garlic breadsticks are better than garlic bread? Oh. Oh, okay, cool. Well, if you have to duck out, maybe we'll... Maybe I'll raid you when my stream is over. I don't know how late I'm gonna go tonight. Not too late, probably. Another hour. I have had some pretty darn good breadsticks, to be honest. T TBH. Um. Yeah, of course I will. Okay, well, we'll just play it by ear, yo. <laughs> Listen, Faye, I did not, I'm not, I'm no bird scientist. I think you're right, though. What do love birds actually look like? Now I'm going to have to Google that. I feel like they're, I feel like they're pink. Is that not right? I'm Googling it. You done did it now, Faye. Those are lovebirds. They, they got an orangey, yellowy, orangey face and then a green bod. Oh no! <laughs> Mine don't have a green bod. They've got a yellow bod. Mistakes were made. You know what? You know what? I think maybe they may have been misidentified. That's okay, we still love them. We're just gonna let them love each other. Maybe they're not lovebirds in the traditional sense, but they look like, it looks like a, a true love situation to me. <laughs> Bird, birder friends. Bold of you to assume I have friends. Bold of you to assume I have friends who know things about birds. Problem solved. We're done here. Everybody go home. Our work here is done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. They just they just love each other. Okay, so darker red. Where did I put the darker red? Did I just use the darker red? No, here it is. There it is. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, I have friends who know things about stuff, but I couldn't think of one friend who knows a lot about birds.
My mom used to keep birds when I was a kid. She had doves and finches and cockatiels. I had a budgie once, but it was mean and it bit me a lot. The hyacinth macaw. Ah. See, I think birds are cute from a distance. I think maybe I was traumatized by that biting budgie. I don't really want them anywhere near me. Um, but I like them. I love the way they look. I have, you know. <laughs> Faith. I mean, you know, you gotta go out doing what you love. Hey, she died doing what she loved. Petting dangerous animals. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, they're not really... I feel like they're not really snuggly animals. Oh, Faye, I did know that. I did. I actually follow a streamer called, um, Better Monster. And for a long time, she had wombat poop. Um, she crochets, and she was crocheting wombat poop cubes for a long time. Does she still do that, Muffin? That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, this one is six squares tall. Yeah. She's awesome. I actually have something that she crocheted. Ta-da! Better Monster made this. Um, they had a crochet competition and it was um, Stardew Valley themed. Wombats look cuddly. See, I could cuddle a mammal all day long, but a bird, I feel like that's just a dinosaur hiding behind some feathers. Junimo. Yes, that's what they're called. I, I won one of, um, it was a charity benefit and I donated, so my name was entered in a raffle, and um, I won two Junimos and a Void Chicken. So that was pretty sweet. See, here's the other Junimo. It's a little bigger. Oh, sorry. You just put a needle up its butt. Rude. And then here's my, uh, my void chicken. See? Better monsters. Junimo's a little tighter. It's a little smaller. Yeah, they live on my desk. I love them. They sit next to my, um, pincushion. My hedgehog pincushion. <laughs> Faye, I believe that if you attempt to cuddle a badger, it will be the cause of, of death listed on your certificate. Yeah, the Junimos are super cute. They also crocheted. It was like a race. It was pretty cool. Um, they do it every year for charity, and they get like, as like um, March Madness, where They'll have people race and whoever wins competes against the person in the other group who won. So it was a lot of fun a couple months ago. Muffin, did you watch that event? If not, I'm going to totally uh, clue you in next time it happens because you'd probably really enjoy that. Is that one of those 
Faye, is that one of those islands where um, it's like overrun by animals because they're the guardian spirit animal of that island? Like there's one of bunnies and there's one that's cats. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was like a Saturday afternoon and it was going all day and I just got snacks and watched and donated money. And they made a bunch of um, Junimos and chickens. And I think the two fastest ones ended up uh, crocheting a barn, like drawstring bag. So it looked like a barn, but it was a bag and you can put the Junimos in it. It's pretty sweet. Oh, and two people. The two people who organize it crocheted little versions, little dolls of themselves as farmers. And the grand prize was that in the bag. It's a city and the deer are scared, so they roam around and bow to people in exchange for snacks. Sacred, sorry. Wait, sacred. Yeah! You know where I wanna go in Japan? The Pug Cafe. It's just like somebody's living room and they open it up once a day and charge people to come in and have snacks and pet all of the pugs that are there. There's like 20 different pugs. I can just imagine <laughs> owning 20 pugs and then being like, how the hell are we going to pay for all this? Being like, I have a brilliant idea. Let's charge people to come pet the pugs. We'll be millionaires. I'd do it if it wasn't in Japan. I've seen Pine Martins before. I had to look it up when I read uh, the Red Wall series. Because one of the main characters is a Pine Martin. They're so cute. They're kind of like um weasels. But not as weaselly. Jade, hi! Do they really have an owl cafe? I feel like... <laughs> Here I am being mistrustful of birds again. I feel like that's probably a bad idea. There is a Twitch stream where they have a camera in, in the owl box and they had some baby owls hanging out in there. I bet they're like full-on teenager owls by now. But I don't know if I'd want to be that close to an owl with a snack. Aww. <laughs> See, that's adorable. I appreciate birds from a distance. Okay, I'm gonna take a drink. I'm gonna mute myself while I drink so you don't have to listen to me swallow awkwardly. Talk amongst yourselves. There we go, and I'm back. What's our mallow? Oh, giant river otters. I would snuggle in a heartbeat. Although I'm pretty sure that they, they would try to kill me. Otters in general. And I don't even want to know any real otter facts, because I feel like that's one of those animals, like if you got to know them, you wouldn't like them. <laughs> like dolphins. <laughs> oh no! You guys, I already messed up. Heck. Hmm. Double heck. I'm gonna leave it for now. Ooh, yeah, no. Moose moose are big boys. Them big boys. I've seen videos of them, like, in people's front yards and stuff. And they are enormous animals. I 
I want to ride one. Statues of Moose? Why? <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever heard it a, a an otter sound. I can imagine, though. Yeah, oh, Faye. That's my favorite otter fact. That one in the one where they hold their babies on their bellies. Mooses? I don't, I can't pluralize the word moose properly, just for the record. Mice? Meese? Mooses? Doesn't sound right. None of it sounds right. Just moose. Like sheep. I mean, some are. Gotta buy him a drink first, though, Faye. <laughs> nope. Nope. That's gonna bother me. That's gonna hack and bother me. <laughs> Should I... Mm, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm leaving it. I left it. <laughs> yeah, it depends on which bar you go to. I don't know where the local beaver bars are, but I have some friends who could probably point us in the right direction. I don't do bars anymore. I got too old. I got a taste of the old lady life. And I liked it. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is an adult rated channel, so no. With a big question mark on the end? We could get a lot cruder. That's not a challenge or an invitation. I'm just saying it's possible. <laughs> Listen, you guys. If we're going to get somebody banned, it should probably be me. Let's be honest. Oh, no. Oh no, Faye. <laughs> oh no. European, especially like Irish, Welsh towns have some of the most interesting names. Of course, Missouri, which is the state right next to where I live, has a town called Humansville. Which isn't necessarily interesting, but it's like... <laughs> I feel like there were a couple of aliens and they're like, What are we going to call our town so that nobody suspects that we are not human? I know. Let's call it Humans Town. Humansville? <laughs> now with more real humans. Lake seems pretty sus, guys. Seems pretty suspect. Yep.
So how was everybody's day at work? Did everybody work today? Except for Jade. Jade worked the hardest of us all. Let's be real. She took care of a baby today. But, uh... How was everybody's day? My work was, um, very unproductive. I... Could not get to sleep last night, and then woke up late, and then was sitting at my desk for work, and I was like, I cannot human for like half the day. Is he finally asleep, Jade? Oh no, interns. It's nice of you to be nice to the intern, though. Oh, a student done for the summer. Lily's a teacher and she's almost done for the summer. One, two, three, four, five. What are you studying, Faye? Oh, oh, that's the bit I miss about having babies, Jade, when they fall asleep on top of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hardly anybody sleeps on top of me these days. Seven. Yay, Lily! Done next weekend! Psychology! That's right. I remember you saying that. Or maybe I read it somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> Muffin. <laughs> I mean... It's also kind of about being nice, though. Right? Because you could just be like, Forget you, intern. I've been an intern. People are very quick to forget us. I'm not an intern anymore, but... I have been an intern. Not a glamorous job. Although it did make me a lot better at, like throwing myself on the mercy of strangers. Which I have been having to do a lot at work recently. Been getting to exercise that muscle quite a bit. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yes. Faye, what kind of psychology are you studying? Just like general or criminal or pediatric? Can I ask? You don't have to tell me. If I'm being nosy, you just say shush. Shush. Or we could do an awkward subject change too. I feel like I should have Nightbot. Um... Oh, Jade, that reminds me. The other, ni the other night you were not here. I don't remember when. Uh, several nights ago. And we needed some dice. And I didn't have any dice. And I tried to get Nightbot to do the d20 thing. And I forgot that's just for your chat. And it made me sad. Do you like your intern? Muffin? Or is it like... I don't know. Like sometimes you really hit it off with people. And sometimes they're just work people. Clinical psychology. Man, that's that's hard work and so necessary. I feel like I don't know what the state of mental health in Ireland is. I feel like you know, you guys probably have a better health system in general. I might be wrong. It's hard to be worse than the United States though. <laughs> Oh yeah, that'd be cool. My son sees a speech therapist. It's done him a world of good. Shockingly bad or shockingly good?
Oh no, shockingly bad. Well, that's a bummer. At least you're going into a much needed profession. You'll be able to do some good. Muffin. I, you know, we've talked about this a little bit before. Um, so in your place of work, I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this sentence while also trying to do this thing with my hands. In your place of work, is there a good like onboarding program? Or do you guys just um, <laughs> throw your new kids in into the pan with fire? It's a terrible idiom. Yeah. Yes, Faye. A lot of that needs to be done, too. I feel like you're probably uniquely positioned to help people who need help um, with being trans and transitioning. Yeah, probably. Mmm. Yeah. Muffin, I think I remember reading that in your bio. That you work for, like, a really well-known tech company. Not, like, a dinky one. What, is it well-known enough that I would know them, though? Because <laughs> that's a whole different standard. Oof. That's brutal. I just found out um, this week that my health insurance through my place of work covers um, therapy for people with gender dysphoria and um, hormone replacement therapy and surgery and stuff like that, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, that's too bad. Is there still like a big, do you think it's still, hmm, do you think it is because uh, there's such a big religious influence in Ireland that the, that the system is so bad right now? You know, and this is coming from somebody who knows very little about current politics in, in Ireland. I know a little bit about Irish history, <laughs> um, but not very much. <laughs> really? Have their permission to what? To go to therapy or to transition? That's stupid. That would make me want to not date. Or at least not tell... <laughs> not tell anybody I was dating someone anyway. I'm a sneaky snake though. Yeah, I'm thinking... Pretty much nobody that I have dated would I like to leave a, such a large decision up to them. They've all pretty much been milk toast characters. Mmm, yeah. Oof.
Okay, let's see. We've got three across. All the way down, and then we're going to do a fourth row down to three. Fourth row down to three, is that right? That's right. Ugh, tell me about it. I was, um, listening to the news this morning about the bill that they're trying to get through Congress. Probably failed. Failed to pass through Congress today. I have not been keeping track since this morning, and, uh, you know, it makes voting easier. It makes participating in democracy easier, and... It is astonishing to me that some people don't think that that's a good idea. <laughs> Dude, you guys, last night in Lily's stream we were talking about horny ends, and now we're talking about politics. Yeah. Muffin, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what the issue is. The bill that they're trying to pass right now would make gerrymandering illegal. I'm just like, let it go. You know, like everybody knows that you're doing it now, so maybe stop, 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 stop doing it. Stop. Well, no wonder you want to go into that line of business and help people. That profession, I guess, would be better. They. No wonder. Seems like there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Do you feel like you'll be able to positively influence the system from within it? Is that your goal? Honestly, I've thought about getting involved in politics for the same reason. <laughs> not because of trans rights, because I am not trans, but just to make a positive influence, you know, not for not trans rights, but just in a broad sense, like, I'm so sick of the older generations clinging on to ways of thinking and processes that are truly damaging. Ew, no. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, Muffin. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think if you go in knowing what the issues are and focusing on making a positive influence just in your daily work, you'll probably be presented with opportunities to make larger changes. You know, it's like, like you know, there's probably people out there like you who are also getting involved because of the situation, who also want to see change, and you guys will find each other, and together you'll be able to make changes. I'm, I'm being a little optimistic here. You know, and if all else fails, you can just Send yourself to me in the mail. You can live here with me. <laughs> That's not a very not a very good offer, but it stands. One, 
There you go. Yes, exactly. Ooh, I don't know if this is going to be enough thread. <laughs> this is not very much. And it's bright yellow. Can you guys even see this? Probably not. That's okay. Do a darker color next. I bet it would. I'm a strong believer in volunteering. Um, all throughout college, I volunteered at the library, shelving books and taking donations and stuff. And I think, I think it makes a huge difference if you have the time and capacity to volunteer. I wish it was more of a thing culturally in the United States. I gotta trim this. Boop. Did you really? <laughs> and were you in Juvie Muffin? I went to public high school. They don't require anything to graduate. I went to a remedial public high school, like for bad kids and pregnant teens. Oh, dang it. I just did the same thing again. <laughs> I suppose that's true. Yeah, definitely. Not gonna make the same mistake this time, guys. Oh, got it. Hooray. So, did you guys um, feel like your time volunteering was valuable? What did you guys do? Do you think, like, you would encourage other people to volunteer? I feel like my experience volunteering has, um, makes me want to encourage my kids to volunteer. Tutoring, visiting nursing homes, entertaining them beach cleanups. Yeah. <laughs> Jade, you're a cool kid now. We're all cool kids. It's official. I've officially, I'm officially, everyone in the chat is cool now. You guys are cool. Cool like the Fonz. Yeah. I mean, doesn't get more official than that. Hell yeah, you can sit at my table at lunch. Muffin and Lily and Jade and Faye. Guys, we're sitting together at lunch. Lily, what did you play? Mm 
Jade. <laughs> Ain't no thing, Jade. Flute. Yes, Faye. I completely agree. I agree. It's important to have um, healthy boundaries, no matter what you're doing. I was not a theater geek, nor band geek. Um, I think in high school I was mostly a pothead. Muffin, you played percussion? Ha ha ha, Faye. <laughs> nice. Although I did play um, cello and trombone. I uh, did not play either one of them in high school. I was not very good at either of them. That's a thing. That can be a thing. I'm voting that's a thing. Book nerdery. <laughs> Muffin. <laughs> Sick. Can you play the drums? Uh, no. I can play a smattering of instruments very poorly. I know like two songs on the guitar. I can play a little bit of the concertina. Um, I can play Que Sera Sera on the, on the concertina. Uh, let's see. I can play the Phantom of the Opera on trombone. I probably could play something on the cello still, but I don't know what. I don't know. I can play Blackbird on the guitar, or at least I used to be able to. I can sing, but not very well, but I enjoy doing it. I have um, auditory issues, so I don't know if I'm singing well or not. But if I'm singing along with something, then I do a pretty good job. Aw, Faye. I don't, I don't smoke pot anymore. I pretty much gave it up when I had kids, but not on purpose, just because like everybody I knew who still did that, the, I don't want them hanging around my kids. <laughs> oh, no comment on potheads, of course, but here it's still illegal. So it draws a certain type of crowd and not the kind I want around my kids. Plus, it's illegal, and I don't want to put my kids at risk of anything. Maybe once it's legal here, I'll take a, you know, I'll get a babysitter or something. What is going on here? Ooh. I did, Bay. I did. It was hilarious. Just what I needed to nod off. I'm going to play it for my kids every night after they fall asleep. <laughs> Thanks, Muffin. I will take you up on that. Yeah. I don't know. Now that I haven't been doing it for a while, I don't know if I would ever want to go back and do it again. Just because I am such an introvert and such an anxious person. Like, it occurred to me that very 
rarely did I have a good time while I was smoking weed. I might do it again. I've heard the quality has gone way up in states where it's legal. You know, and you can go in and like get just the right, just the right thing instead of buying a dime bag of ditch weed from that guy you knew in high school, which is nice. I, I say legalize it and tax it. That's my solution to everything. Did I just screw up again? God bless the Lord. What the hell? Guys are distracting me. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, they're baked goods. That's kind of their job. If they didn't look yummy, they wouldn't be any good at being edibles. Jade. Yeah, see, Muffin, I'm, I'm in the same camp where it's like, once I got away from it, I was like, oh, wait, that's actually not fun for me. Which I feel like pretty much explains my entire high school experience on mm, nearly every level. <laughs> See, but you could just have like a virgin Captain Crunch Rice Krispie. It doesn't have to be inedible. They sell Captain Crunch and marshmallows at the grocery store, girl. You could make some. I would, but Captain Crunch cuts the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Muffin, you should just send the rest to me. I've heard that Rice Krispie Treats hold up really well in the mail. <laughs> yeah, Captain Crunch, man, that's the brutal cereal. I was telling a friend of mine earlier tonight that um, if it weren't for my kids, I would probably have died of a cereal overdose ages ago. Uh, because I am such a cereal monster. Like, I don't know what it is. I just love cold cereal so much. It's it's my comfort food, and I don't know how that happened. But here we are. I really like it. I really like nearly every kind of cereal, except for Captain Crunch. I don't want to be brutalized when I eat. <laughs> The serial form of S and M, yeah. I mean, basically, I will gladly, you know, take a spanking, but not in my mouth while I'm eating. It's crossing the line. <laughs> Muffin, they are. They're little yellow knife pillows, fruity pebbles. Hmm. Do they have fruity pebbles in Ireland? You said that you guys don't have lucky charms. Now I'm sus suspicious of everything. Uh, yeah. I think my... I like Fruit Loops a lot. Um, I like any cereal that has a marshmallow in it, but especially the cheap marshmallow mateys, the pirate ones, by Quaker. See, the pebbles I'm not so much, not so much into. Are you 
Are you consumed with thoughts of fruity pebbles? Marshmallow mateys! They're better than Lucky Charms, Faye. You're not missing out. Lucky Charms are okay. Marshmallow mateys, man. That's where it's at. I knew a guy in high school named Krusty Andy who used to just bring like a quart-sized Ziploc bag of them for lunch every day. <laughs> Faye. <laughs> Can you get Amazon? Can you get an Amazon drone to deliver them to you? Guys, if you can, I highly suggest it. Muffin, yes! Oh! Snack exchange! Snack exchange! <laughs> oh, that's funny because it's true. I never thought of that. You're yeah. That's that's yeah. Jade, what kind of ice cream are you eating? I almost ordered myself a pint of ice cream, but I'm waiting until we can watch Taskmaster. That's what my husband and I do. We get pints and watch Taskmaster. I would say we don't have anything like spectacular here in Kansas that I would send anybody, but clearly Faye needs some fruity pebbles and I can just go to the store and get those. Just good friends. <laughs> Guys, they were roommates. What is heavenly hash? I feel like hash should have potatoes in it. Oh, my husband says that's the good shit. You've had heavenly hash? Oh. Oh, it's a weed joke. Yep, see? No. Until... Two... Potato ice cream. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Faye. They were good friends and roommates for 50 years. And then one of them died and the other one was sad forever. Roommates. <laughs> Aww. Such good friends. <laughs> oh, no. I saw a post recently circulating on um, the Book of Face about Cary Grant and his good friend roommate and how Cary Grant um, got married to sort of dispel the rumors that they were more than just good friends and then his wife divorced him because his good friend wouldn't move out. Uh-oh. It's not weed ice cream. Chocolate with marshmallow and nuts. Uh, girl, that sounds like Rocky Road to me. Boom, mates. Hey, hey, hey. Um. Jade, put Nightbot in timeout. Bad Nightbot. <laughs> Smack it around a little muffin. Okay, is here's the here's the true rocky road test. Are the, is it marshmallow like cream or swirl or is it actually mini marshmallows? Cuz that's the litmus test for me. If it's actually mini marshmallows, you got yourself a good rocky road there. Swirl bullshit. Unacceptable. Lemon grab dot gif. Oh, okay. Alright, Muffin, I'll see you in a little bit. I'll probably wrap up here in about 15 minutes. And if we can, we'll give you a raid. Publix Premium Ice Cream Heavenly Hash Classic. 
That ain't no rocky road. It's not rocky road unless it's got many marshmallows in it. Oh, you want to hear a fun fact that I learned a couple weeks ago? Speaking of good friends and roommates. Um, the creator creators of Wonder Woman were a two women and a man who were in a polyamorous relationship um, three-way marriage and the it was a it was a married couple and then they brought on a woman named Olive and they all raised each other's kids and like total romance and the man died and Olive and the woman were very good friends and roommates who traveled the world together and never left each other's sides after that and I wanted to cry a little bit but Olive wore um gold cuffs gold cuffs on each hand on each wrist just like Wonder Woman does they actually modeled Wonder Woman after Olive so you know the more you learn G.I. Joe Did anybody get that vintage reference oh pink let's see should we do the beaks do the beaks I think I I think I have to I think I I think I messed up. I think I have to tear out this red thread, guys. I'm bummed out. Hold on a second, let me get my seam ripper. I messed up the beak on the left hand bird. Nobody look, it's about to get brutal. Sorry, Thread, you did your best. It's not you, it's me. And this is why I am so vigilant about not traveling with my Thread, because I just make too many mistakes. <laughs> I just make way, I just screw up way too much for that nonsense. I think on the unicorn I tore out like three different stars and at least three rows of the pink body. Did you guys see the final of that? I can show it to you if you haven't seen it yet. I posted it in the Discord, but I've got it right here. I always feel so bad doing this. Such pretty thread. Sorry, friend. All right, we demand perfection and nothing less from our thread. <laughs> Here, Faye. Here's the unicorn. All finished. Is that not how they usually do adoptions, Jade? They just drop the baby in a box on the front porch at, in the middle of the night? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Tie the baby to a brick and throw it through the window. No, I'm pretty sure they put it on a pulley system and lower it down the chimney. Thank you, guys. A unicorn. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna finish this up, you know, tuck in the backs and stuff, and then, um... I don't know who I'm gonna give it to yet. Nearly everything I do is a gift. That's how I keep myself motivated. <laughs> Through the doldrums. I just totally borked this red section here in the top top box. I'm gonna redo it and then probably call it a, a night after that. Don't anybody get antsy though, it's gonna take like half an hour. Come on out of there, you! You are. You're a gift. Faye, when are you gonna start st start streaming? I am. Uh, I'm gonna get ganging up on all of the bees who don't stream. Setup is easy. As you can see, you don't need to be super talented. <laughs> I just want to hang out with you guys more often. So, like, this is my way of, of making that happen. Because internet friends are real friends. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? We've got some ins and some T's, and the ins are the light red, or the orange red, and the T's are the dark red. This is an orangey red, and this is a redder red. Yes? Um, I have so little of this one left. I'm gonna really be bummed out here. If I have to... What? I don't... Hmm. Hold on a second. I'm going to the box. Hey, hey, hey. So you've got... Oh, that's an orangey red. Why? <laughs> Why are the reds all so similar, guys? I'm... Mm, I am not colorblind. I swear I'm not. Okay, so... These three are the same. This one's darker. Yes? Yes. And I lost my scissors. Oh, there they are. Having a moment. Having a senior moment, you guys. This is 946. Can we write that on here? Let's see. Nope. I'm going to need a permanent marker. Heck on wheels. 9, 4, 6. Well, that's gobbledygook. 9, 4, 6. There we go. Alright. I'm 
before we lose it, I'm going to put the cap back on the seam ripper because I'm an adult. I'm going to put the seam ripper up so I don't cut myself. See how that works? Theoretically, it works great. Oh, why did I cut these so short? <laughs> it's okay. Mistakes were made, that's okay. Mistakes are just learning opportunities. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Okay, we have our O for orange and then in here and that is a four square and one up I can do it y'all I swear I can oh lord won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz Nobody says anything. I'm I'm just going to keep I'm going to keep singing. That is a threat. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. Nice. <laughs> So then, now that we fixed this, we can put the red and fix the beak. Beaky fixy. Fixy beaky. Yeah, Faye, didn't you say you were working on the press, the press gems? What are those called? Like the individual little pips that you, you like press into place and it makes this huge mosaic. Was that you? Or am I losing it? Either way is good. Sing it, Janice. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Listen, if you want to have a karaoke night, we will do that. But tonight is not that night. Diamond painting, yes. I would love to see you go live with some of that. That seems like it would be satisfying to watch. Jade, what is Twitch Sings? What is it? Is it karaoke through Twitch? Aw, Jean. Half the fun of karaoke is being bad at singing whatever you're singing. You'd be like a karaoke star. Plus you keep saying you're tone deaf, but I haven't seen any proof to this. Ooh, full coverage cross stitch. If you can, you should post some pictures of that in the Discord. I love to see it. Full coverage is... It's its own thing, for sure. <laughs> Alright, and then the darker red goes here, guys. This is how it was supposed to be the whole time. Jade! 
I feel like we need to have a karaoke night. But I'd rather have a snack exchange if I had to choose. It don't make me choose. I love both these ideas. We could even... Honestly, I feel like we could even just have a karaoke night on the Discord. Is that just me? How does how does Twitch Sings work? Twitch is so up their butt about copyright laws, I would think. <laughs> I don't know. Explain it to me. You are wise. Explain to me the ways. <laughs> Fine. I can't believe you can't explain a thing you've never used. What kind of technical writer are you, madam? I object. Oh. <laughs> well, I've never even heard of it. I didn't know you could sign up for it. Oh, it's 10 o'clock, y'all. It's getting close to my bed down time. Two years ago. Is it even still a thing? I have questions. I must karaoke all the things. Oh, Jade, you weren't. You, it was after you went to bed last night, but I got to hear Faye's voice, and it is like butter. Like butter. Nightbot's back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and a half. Okay. I'm just gonna get this beak done. And and then I'll be done. Somebody let me know when Muffin goes live. If I miss it, and then that's when I'll that's when I'll sign off, so we can all go party in her chat. Faye, is it like I'm bad at time zones? Is it morning where you are? <laughs> Muffin is live. Oh, good. Well, in that case, I will wrap up. I've been going for an hour and 42 minutes and I fixed my beak and I will do more work on this cross stitch next week whenever I stream next uh yeah so that's it I'm gonna sign off um thank you so much everybody for joining me I so appreciate your company you're all lovely wonderful um 4 a.m. Holy crap, Stacks, Faye. What are you doing awake? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so, um, 11 p.m. Lily, go to bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm exhausted. It's, it's only 10 o'clock here. Anyway, okay, so, uh, if you like what you saw. I'm part of a group called the Varieties. You guys all know this. <laughs> You're not my real mom. Um, check out our Discord. Uh, tomorrow, is, Jade is streaming. And I don't know if she's going to be streaming a game or some artwork. But either way, you should totally tune in and check her out. She's amazing. Um, I'll be there. Lily will probably be there. Try to get as many people in as possible. Ooh, yeah, Jade, maybe you can show off your flowers that you've been working on. Um, check out our Discord. Jade's streaming tomorrow night. Is there anything else I forgot? 
I'm not the good at the sign off. Dooby doob. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, thank you everybody for being lovely and showing up to my stream and just being really good company. I think you're all wonderful. Let's go and raid Muffin. Let's see if I can find out how to make that happen. Because I forget. How do I do? I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do. Mar slash raid and her name. Okay. Thank God. Thank God for you, Jade. <laughs> oh no. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hey, success. Success. All right. Good night everybody. I love you all. Good night. the entire rest of those birds. You have the whole rest of the cross stitch and the like.